Hey Tail Tennis Junkies, this week's video comes from a request in the comment section of a previous video and what I'll be teaching you today are the strengths and weaknesses and also some of the similarities and differences between using the pen hold grip and the shake hands grip on different serves. I'm excited to be teaching it to you so let's get started. I'll start today with the pendulum serve because it's the most popular serve in the world. The stroke on the serve is going to be essentially the same whether you're doing it with the shake hands grip or the pen hold grip. It doesn't matter if you're serving backspin, no spin, fast, top spin, doesn't really matter. So you're essentially just going to be reaching back behind your body this way or away from your body this way and just coming across the ball this way. The main difference on this serve is that the range of motion in the wrist is far greater with the pen hold grip compared to the shake hands grip. So as you can see, when you reach back on this serve, you can reach all the way back, and then as you swing through, you can really go all the way around, and you get this really big motion with your wrist, and that's really it has a big advantage to the serve because it allows you to get much better spin on the serve. If you have the shake hands grip, you can still get back similar, so you can get back this way with the shake hands back that way with the pen hold, but the problem with the, pen, with the shake hands grip is that as you follow through, the wrist really limits you at, at the end of the stroke. So with the, pen, sorry, with the shake hands grip, this is why we change the grip so you have the finger up. And this allows you to, to get a better range of motion on the serve, which is more similar to the pen hold grip. With the pen hold grip, you can just do it naturally and you don't have to change back to anything after, after the serve. If you're a pen hold player, it's really important to use that wrist motion because it gives you that advantage and it's a very natural motion in the swing. So if you're a pen holder, make sure that you're really maximizing the wrist because it's going to allow you to get much better spin on your serves. Next up is the backhand serve. The backhand serve is less common with the pen hold grip, but there are actually huge advantages to using the pen hold grip with the backhand serve. I should add that I have video tutorials on all of these serves in my video tutorials playlist on my channel. I'll have a link in the description right below the subscribe button for you to check out after this video. I have a lot of really good information in there. If you're a pen hold player out there, I really recommend you add the backhand serve to your game because you can get a lot of spin on it. And as a pen hold player, you're a little bit limited to the number of serves you can do. So if you're stuck just doing the pendulum serve and the reverse pendulum serve, it's really nice to have a third option and using that backhand serve. If you're a shake hands player doing the backhand serve, you can start with the racket cocked back this way and you can swing through it, but it has a similar problem to the pendulum serve where as you swing through, the wrist kind of limits your, your motion at the end of the stroke and you can't really flow through it. And the problem with the backhand serve is you can't just change the grip and have a better wrist motion. It doesn't work that way. So with the, with the shake hands grip, you're really just limited to that first half of the stroke and just starting this way, but then you get locked here. With the pen hold grip, the motion is much better. So you'll still start back this way, but as you swing through, you have this much better uh, range of motion with the wrist, and that'll allow you to get much better spin on it. The problem with the, the shake hands grip is that as you, as you follow through, the wrist actually slows down as it reaches this point, where with the pen hold grip, you can just keep accelerating through the, through the contact point, so you have much better spin on the serve. As far as the mechanics go on this serve, they're essentially the same for both the shake hands grip and the pen hold grip with the exception of the wrist. Remember, if you wanna have good spin on your serve, that extra wrist motion is really gonna help you. So with the pen hold grip on the backhand serve, try to maximize that wrist motion to maximize the spin. For the pen hold grip on the backhand serve, I recommend tucking your fingers in this way. This will allow you to generate better wrist motion in the stroke. Let's move on to the reverse pendulum serve. The pendulum and the reverse pendulum serves are really where the pen hold grip shines because of that enhanced wrist motion and the wrist really moves naturally with these serves. The stroke on this serve is just about the same for both grips. With the shake hands grip, you're gonna change so the index finger comes up like this. You're gonna reach back from your body and cock the wrist this way and then you're just gonna kind of flick the wrist out. For the pen hold grip, if, it depends on how you hold it, but if you're like this, I recommend putting your, your back fingers kind of up on the rubber like this. That'll help stabilize it. And as you swing, the, the wrist will come back this way, the same as the shake hands grip, and you're just gonna kind of flick out like this. It's really important to have the wrist cocked back on your serve because this is what's gonna generate the spin, both the side spin and the top spin or back spin, depending on what you choose. 
So as you, as you reach back, you're going to want to flick out. And if you want backspin, you're going to stay under the ball this way. And if you want topspin, you'll have to be more vertical and more out this way as a vertical. And same with the pendulum. So it'll be more flat for the backspin and more vertical for the topspin. Remember that if you want backspin on this serve, you're just going to want to stay underneath the ball. And if you want topspin, you can either come up on the ball this way or kind of hit the back of the ball and go forward and through it. This is another serve where the wrist really flows nicely for both grips. So if you're a shake hands player, you just change the, the grip so your index finger is up and it flows really nicely. If you're a pen hold player, just stabilize it with the back fingers on the rubber and then it still flows really nicely and you can keep that same angle throughout the stroke. Let's go over the shovel serve. The stroke on this serve is very similar between the two grips as well, but the main advantages to the pen hold grip are kind of lost on the serve because remember that the advantage to the pen hold grip is that extended wrist motion and the flexibility in the wrist, but with the shovel serve, you're not really using a whole lot of wrist on the serve, so you're just kind of going to come in like this or like this, but there's not really a whole lot of wrist motion with this serve. Okay, so for the stroke on the serve, you're just going to reach back behind your body this way and you're just going to punch through it, mostly with the upper arm and the forearm. You can see that there's really not a whole lot of wrist motion on this, so that's why the, the advantages to the pen hold grip are kind of lost with this serve. I'm just going to come, come through this way, kind of forward and around it. For the grip on the pen hold, I'm really keeping these back three fingers on the rubber. I'm not, I don't have them down this way. This will help to keep the racket steady throughout the stroke. And with the shake hands grip, I, I put the index finger up and that'll allow me to, to kind of cock my wrist and keep it steady as well. Let's go over the tomahawk serve. This one is pretty uncommon with the pen hold grip because that, that motion in the stroke makes it kind of awkward with the grip, but it's not impossible. The way that I generally recommend getting topspin on the tomahawk serve with the shake hands grip is by hitting kind of this upper right corner of the ball. So, it's, it's pretty natural with the, with the shake hands grip, you're just gonna kind of go forward and over the top this way. With the pen hold grip, you can still do that. It's a little bit awkward, but you can still kind of hit that top right corner with, with this grip. An alternate way to get the top spin on the tomahawk serve with the pen hold grip is by hitting more on the side of the ball this way. You're not gonna get nearly as much top spin. It's gonna be mostly side spin, but that forward energy will give it just maybe a little bit of top spin. And that might be a little bit easier with the pen hold grip. Again, you're not going to get much topspin if you're just hitting the side of the ball this way. You'll get maybe a little bit, but really good side spin, which might help you. It really just kind of depends on what you're looking for on your serve. If you want to get backspin on the tomahawk serve, I recommend just kind of coming down the back of the ball this way. And it's pretty similar between the two grips. So there's the shake hands grip where you're just kind of coming down this way. And then the, the pen hold grip, you're just, just kind of the same, you're just kind of coming down the back of the ball. Remember on the tomahawk serve, you're not really trying to get under the ball. You can get backspin that way, but it's pretty obvious for your opponent. So I generally recommend uh, coming down the back of the ball to get the ball to spin in this direction to create that backspin. For the pen hold grip on the tomahawk serve, I recommend the, the three fingers being on the rubber this way. This will allow you to stabilize the racket angle through the stroke. Let's go over the windshield wiper serve. This one's a toughie, and I don't think I've ever actually seen anyone do it with the pen hold grip. You'd think that because the windshield wiper has so much wrist motion in it, it would be a kind of a perfect fit for the pen hold grip. The problem is with the stroke though. Windshield wiper serves are done best when you lay the wrist back this way, and you can't really do that with the pen hold grip. You can't really contort your body to do that, and if you do lay the wrist back, there, you don't really have any motion with the stroke. You can try it, but there's really no way to move your arm in a way to get that windshield wiper motion with the, wrist, with the wrist laid back. You could maybe, instead of coming under it this way, you could maybe come under it this way. Um, I wouldn't really consider that a windshield wiper serve, even though it has the same side spin. It's more of like an opened up uh, pendulum serve almost. If you do want to try coming under it this way with an opened up stance, you can try it, but just make sure that you're really using a lot of wrist motion in this stroke. To generate topspin on the windshield wiper serve with the standard grip, I would hit either the back of the ball or maybe on the top left corner this way. If you want to generate topspin on this serve with the pen hold grip, you can still kind of do that fake windshield wiper serve this way, but you kind of want to go more forward on it like this. Probably not a great serve, but you can try it. You can actually generate decent topspin with the real stroke on this serve with the pen hold grip. You're just going to want to start on the right side of the ball and kind of come across and over the top this way. I would probably uh, change my stance so I'm facing perpendicular to the table and then just kind of coming forward and through the ball this way over the top. 
This is a really tough serve to do with the pen hold grip, which is why you don't really ever see it. And I would probably stick with the reverse pendulum serve, the pendulum serve, and the backhand serves with the pen hold grip. And I would probably stay away from the tomahawk serve and the windshield wiper serve with the pen hold grip. In recapping, if you're a pen hold player, make sure that you really maximize that wrist movement in your serves because it's a serious weapon and it can give you a lot of extra spin on your serves. So if you're not really using that wrist, if you're just kind of coming in stagnant, you're not really gonna get the full advantage of your grip. So make sure you're really using the grip on your serve. Another thing I wanna mention is that each grip has its advantages and disadvantages. So a major advantage to the pen hold grip is that you have that motion on, on the wrist for the serve, so you have much better potential for spin. Um, a, a disadvantage of the pen hold grip is that you're gonna be limited to the number of serves you can do. So you'll be really good with these serves, uh, with reverse pendulums, but like the, the, the tomahawk serve is gonna be a little tougher for you. The windshield wiper serve is gonna be almost impossible for you where the, the shake hands grip, you're gonna have much more flexibility on the number of serves you can do, but the, the potential for spin is gonna be a little bit more limited uh, compared to the, the pen hold grip. That's all for this week's video. Make sure you hit that like button, and if you have any questions or serve requests, put them in the comment section below. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next week.